Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of my 1920 Serie A jersey review. The CD team in this one and you know refer to, I refer you to my first part where I explain how I chose the teams in this video but kind of I took the top four and distribute them over four videos and then I did this for the next few tiers and go alphabetically and the seeded team, the top team from last season, this one is of course Napoli and that's the jersey that I ordered yesterday in the evening. By the time this post, this I might have this jersey already, although it might be tight, but I don't have it now while I'm shooting this and so I decided, well, the color of the 2002 Italy home jersey is very close to what Napoli is, so it's probably the fitting jersey. So imagine this instead of the Italy shield here with an N and I have a Napoli kit. Also featured in this video, but I'm wearing only national team kit in my jersey reviews this year, this year at least. Let's get started. We're starting alphabetically, so we're definitely not starting with Napoli, but we're starting with Bologna from Macron and they get a very nice classic looking Bologna home jersey. Cannot say much that there's much wrong with that one. Maybe, no, but, but not even that. I mean, Bologna has always had a little bit wider striping. Um, I, we have the center stripe and then uh, it's maybe a little bit red heavy because of that, but there's really not much wrong. Even the sponsor fits nicely in there. That's one of the things where Macron is, uh, is really doing a good job. Um, Macron is actually from Bologna, so I mean, that's their home team if you want. Uh, cannot fault too much. This is a nine star jersey. I think a DOA jersey is even cooler with the sash. Uh, and th that's the sash where the crest is contained, which is I like a little bit better. The only downside, as always, if there's a sash and there's a sponsor and the sponsor breaks up the sash, that's what I don't like. Or any band here. If this goes through, perfect. Not quite perfect. So also only nine stars, but I really like these two kits. Let's move on to the next team. That's Brescia, Kappa. And we had already with Genoa in the last video, Kappa has this weird uh, faux color. Um, but other than that, they more or less deliver a typical Brescia kit. Blue with a chevron. The chevron is maybe a little bit too big, I have to say. I, this would be a nice Bordeaux jersey. I'm not sure if it works like a Brescia jersey. I remember when Baggio was playing, they had this really deep V going down there. Uh, this is kind of too flat and too bold. Although I, the bold makes sense in, uh, because the Brescia crest, which is new and I'm not sure it's too modern, but you know, at least there's a lion on it, uh, fits in there. So that makes some sense. Sponsors are right, although I'm not so happy about the uh, red in the sponsor, but you know. It's a decent kit, seven stars. The away kit I saw yesterday in action against Milan takes the same approach and then adds a lot of shadow striping below, which gives the jersey a little bit more interest. Um, but to me, it's a little bit undone by the sponsor because with all this movement that's going down and then you have the sponsor hovering somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's maybe my only gripe with that. Other than that, it also looks nice. Uh, I'm gonna give this also seven stars. I think it's a pretty decent look. Again, I wish that the chevron was a little bit more V-like and not so flat and not so bold. Uh, Brescia also has a third jersey and here we see a trend that, we, um, that we'll see for a few more kits uh, in this video and in the others. Earthy colors for the away kit. We saw this a little bit in Spain uh, where they had a lot of green. Uh, here in Italy, I would say it's more earthy colors. So here we have this kind of khaki green, then we have blue and gold, which is weird, but at least what it achieves to have the blue here, that the crest, which is full color, is not completely lost on there. Uh, the sponsor to me is lost. With the red in there, I think either change it to gold change it to blue or make it white. Then I think this would fit uh, with the over kit much better. So this is kind of a little up downer. However, the big thing is that you have the line from the crest very big on the jersey. I'm still not happy with the color and um, you know, the gold might, might not fit to pressure, though it's one of the club colors as we can see here. It's a little bit bold, but you know, it fits well with the green. The blue is a little bit odd, but you know, I, it kind of fits all together but not quite 
I'm not quite liking it for that reason. Only five stars for this third jersey. Cagliari is the next team, another Macron uh, team, and I had to it look look it up. This really looked to me like last year's jersey. No, the color is different, but I cannot say much wrong about this. You take a classic look; it's your Genoa kit. Um, you have this weird color with the V on front, but I don't mind it. I think it really looks well. Uh, the one thing is maybe the double sponsor, which makes it a little bit cluttered. However, when I looked at the second sponsor, basically has is also reflecting the Cagliari crest. That looks nice. And I have to say that the other, the top sponsor, the pattern of this horse or whatever this is supposed to be, also does not look too bad. It's just a little bit too much writing on there. That's the only thing I can fault this for. Other than that, it's a really nice jersey and I would give it seven star if it was without sponsors, I would go a lot, lot higher, to be honest. Um, I have to say it bothers me less on the away jersey, which clearly takes inspiration from what Chelsea was wearing last season, but just now in white or frost at the World Cup with all these specks all over, a little bit random. And then, you know, the sponsors make it a little bit weird. The color is also weird, but at least, you know, there is a half and half look maintained. It's not a bad one, but it's also not something crazy. So, um, yeah, I give it six stars. Uh, the third jersey, did I say earthy colors? Yes, we have earthy colors again. Uh, again, a khaki, but now the club colors are instated. I do not like this band here, although you don't see it that well. But yeah. If I had to choose between this one and the Brescia kit, it's a hard choice, but I would probably choose this one just by a hair. Uh, here I don't like the multitude of sponsors, but I like how the club colors are used as an accent. Uh, with the Brescia kit, I liked maybe the composition a little bit better, but the sponsor was completely lost and also the blue didn't like. So yeah, uh, five stars, I think that's fair. Moving on to the seeded team, Napoli. Um, two games for Napoli. They shot, made seven goals and gave up seven goals. An abs absolutely incredible start to the season. Um, the only thing that's not incredible is the jersey, I have to say. I do not really like this home jersey. Um, it is the light blue. It has a lot of camouflage patterning on there, which, all right, change it a little bit. But what I do not like is the shoulder yoke. The white and then you have this black or navy in there which at least connects to the second sponsor a little bit it just doesn't look napoli to me i mean this with an n slapped on there that's a napoli kit uh just keep it plain i do not like all these white patches everywhere it's a little bit too much honestly um for that reason this is almost to me as much of a departure as the juve kit uh, it just doesn't look right. And then you have all these side panels in white and then navy blue and so on. It just doesn't look all that great. Although they are a lot of fun to watch in these. Um, I'm gonna go four stars with it. I mean, at least the colors are good. What I still do not like is the red sponsor. But Napoli is keeping that now for ages. I really wish they just would drop the red. That would make it a whole lot better. The away jersey. Did I say earthy colors? Yes, we have another khaki. This looks really down, uh, military-like. So you, the camouflage look here makes some sense. Uh, the sleeves are a little bit detached. You have the shoulder yoke. is also a different color. At least there's some light blue in there. As a Napoli jersey, no, this is not working as an away jersey. Uh, too little contrast in a way. Uh, and then with all the sponsors on there. But, uh, you know, take the sponsors out and just watch the jersey, jersey by itself. I really like how the light blue is popping. Uh, if the sleeves would have the same pattern as the torso, I think I would like this a whole lot better. But other than it, only three stars. I'm sorry. The away kit actually looks the best. Takes the template from the home jersey, but it's white with light blue. I mean, what a concept. Those are the club's colors. Uh, and actually as an away jersey this makes a whole lot of sense. I don't think if the home kit was only light blue and then white it wouldn't work that much either uh, for me. I mean that's what it is. It's just that the blue is a little bit darker than this blue here. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the best one. It's again the sponsor that ruins it, but I would give this six stars. I actually like this one. The look of this is quite quite nice. 
Torino is with Homa now. They were with Kappa last season. So they teach there. Um, you know, Kappa is from Turin. So they went with Homa. Classic Torino kit. I really like it. Maybe a few little too many sponsors, but you know, I really like the red. I'm not sure if the white um, tail is that great, but I totally love the color. I love the sleeve cuffs. Uh, sponsor maybe a little bit too much, but I think um, if it had only one sponsor, I would go 10 uh, just because there's a second one on there. I only give nine, but it's a really nice looking shirt. Also, I'm not so sure about the tail. Uh, the away jersey is interesting that it's white, um, white and then has kind of this dot pattern. But it doesn't mess it up as much as the Sampdoria wanted. You cannot really see it well on this picture, but I think it's uh, an interesting pattern on there. The sponsors are a little bit too much full color because it doesn't fit with the gran gran uh, Granata color. The color is off. We saw this already. Uh, I think for Leganes in Spain, it's a weird color. So uh, in that sense, it doesn't stick out as much and I'm only go with six stars here. And then we have a third kit that is, um, <clears throat> that's downright weird. Blue, okay, with the dark red. The color, a mess. I, I don't know, it just looks weird from all over. It looks a little bit all over the place. You know, you again have dot patterns all over, but then it doesn't really continue onto the sleeve. Yeah. And probably there's a big S for the main sponsor. So, um, nah. Four stars, to be honest. It's all not that great. Well, that concludes part two of my Serie A jersey review. Please drop a comment below. Tell me which jerseys you liked, which jerseys you disliked. Also, let, let me know where you agree and where you disagree with my ra ratings. I would be very interested to see that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see parts three, four and whatever and keep updated. I will definitely do a Champions League jersey review, Europa League jersey review. And, you know, we'll look into my collection as well. And I'll tell you what I am think about current <laughs> games that are happening. In any case, there's lots to talk and that's why I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the news that are revolving in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day.